Hello friends, in this tutorial we solve question from a current, it is about picking numbers. So first of all let's delete everything because we don't need to use this and we solve using just three for loops and we use nothing else, right? So first of all one main function integer main and uh, first we need is uh, integer n that is the length of our array. Okay, let me zoom okay now code is visible okay first our integer n and input of n that is the length of the array after that we have an array of n length and then we need a input for every element of the array for that we use for loop for integer i equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus c in array th element so this is how we get value of our array now all we have to do is we have to use three times our for loop for to find out the answer for integer i equal to zero i is less than n and i plus plus we use another for loop inside it for integer j equals zero j is less than n and j plus plus what okay now we have to do is we have to find uh, two numbers with difference of uh, less than one so we for that like uh, let's say a equals uh, nt uh, array i minus array j so we find difference of two elements and if that difference is less than one so we have to use absolute value absolute of a is less than one less than or equal to one then we do another for loop this for loop is simply used to count how many times that two elements are repeated inside our array so for integer k equals 0 k less than n k plus plus if array k element is equal to say array i element or uh, or operator array k element equal to array j element then uh, we simply like say increment our some variable let's say it's temp temporary variable that stores value how many times that element is repeated so for the temp plus plus so we have to like declare it also so let's declare temper in temp and uh, another int uh, count now for ev after every comparison we have to uh, like uh, temp equal to zero because we don't have to keep adding it and f same like count equal to zero in our first for loop so after our this for loop uh, we get value of temp and now simply we have to compare okay, if temp is greater than our count then count equal to temp and it means like we simply saving how many times that variable is uh, that element is repeated and same thing is uh, we need like uh, we have to compare count with like our another variable that is num let's say count is greater than num then num equals count so we also have to like declare our num so say integer uh, num equals zero right so like we are going from inside out of our loop to find out how many times maximum it is uh, repeating and then print out uh, num like this is very easy this is, looks little complicated but it's easy just have a look so let's run our code and we get a compilation error because we didn't declare a variable so let's declare it first in teacher a and uh, so uh, okay it works submit our code and all the 10 test cases are correct 
we successfully did it so i hope you understand it and thank you for watching guys